My name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 297. Page 297, and today is our lesson number 195. We're going to solve problem number 11. Problem number 11 on page 297. Let's take a look at it. Turn to the page 297. Read the problem to yourself. Problem number 11. It says, if an integer is randomly selected from all positive two-digit integer, what is the probability that the integer chosen has sort of characteristics? So here's here's the question. An integer is picked at random. An integer is picked at random from a set of all positive two-digit integers. The first question is, part A is, what are the odds that the integer that you're going to pick at random from a set of all positive two-digit integer, if you're going to pick one at random, what are the odds that it will have four in tens place? Before we can answer that question, we have to first ask ourselves, the first thing we have to ask ourselves, the first thing we have to ask ourselves is, how many positive two-digit integers are there? 1 through 99 are 99 integers obviously, 1 through 99. But of which, of which the first 9 are simply one digit. 1 through 9 are just one digit integers. Therefore, there are 90 positive two digit integers. There are 90 positive two digit integers. The next question we have to ask ourselves is, out of those 90 positive two digit integers, how many of them are going to have 4 in tens place? Let's, let's find that. How many of them will have 4 in tens place. There are 90 of them. How, how many of these 90 will have 4 in tens place? The simplest thing, the easiest thing to do here is just to simply enumerate them, make a list of them. We want 4 in the tens place, because the story begins with 40, 40, 40, 41, 42, 43, all the way up to 49. 41 through 49. 41 through 40, 41 through 49 is 9, and there is 40, so there are 10 of them. Therefore, 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 the odds of picking a two-digit positive integer with four in the tens place from the set is the set being our set is our set of po set of possible of possibilities are, are the, our set being the set of all positive two-digit integers, and we found that that set contains 90 members. That's how we say it. 90 members. The set has set has 90 members, or sometimes they're called elements. Elements and members is the same thing. It has 90 elements, 90 members. It is made up of 90 different integers. As, as we explained before, 1 through 99 are 99 integers, of which we know that the first 9, 1 through 9, are just one digit integer. Therefore, there are 90 positive two digit integers. We have to say positive because we are not counting the negative. There are 90 positive two digit integers. And that's our set. And it, therefore, it has 90 elements or 90 members of which 10 of them of which 10 of them have 4 in tens place therefore therefore the odds of picking a two digit positive integer with 4 in tens place from the set is simply 10 out of 90 or 1 9 that's it the odds are 1 9 because there are 10 of them with the 4 in the tens place and there are 90 all together so it's 1 out of 9 Let's do part B. Let's see if we're done with this one.
In part B, we are asked to find what are the odds of, 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 of picking an integer at random which has a 4 in unit digit, in unit place, or times place. Or is or. Not end. So, 4 in unit place, how many integers are there with 4 in the unit place? Let's, let's enumerate all of them so that we don't miss anything. We have to have 4 in the unit place so we can have, and has to have 2 digit integer. So, 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, and 94. And how many, have, how many of them have 4 in the tens place? 4 in the tens place is simply 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. There are 10 of these. And there are how many of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 of these. There's the but part. Here's the part you have to be careful about. But there is one that is double counted. This guy appears in both of these arrangements. So we cannot double count it. Therefore, there are all together total nine. These nines plus the ten minus one. Because this is double counted. And then there are total of ninety, we already know that. So it's 9 plus 10 is 19, minus 1 is 18 over 90. 18 over 90, divide the top and bottom by 9. If you divide top and bottom by 9, you get a 2 and a 10. So it's 2 over 10, or 1 fifth, or 20%, or 0.2. However, however, they, however they want you to answer the question. If the multiple choice answers are obviously listed in decimal, then you have to go, uh, pick 0.2. If they're listed in percentages, the answer is 20%. If, it's, if they're listed as one fifth, then of course that's what you have to pick. You have to, re you have to reduce the two tenths to one fifth. You understand? This is the last one, the last part, part C. Let's do part C. But before we do part C, let's call ourselves. Uh, I'm going to give you part D. Here's, here's the part D. A 4 in unit place and, and, not or, but and, 4 in 10 place. This is ORs and this is AND. If you want 4 in the unit place and 4 in the 10 place, there is only one possibility, which is 44. 44 is the only number which has 4 in the unit place and 4 in the 10 place. So, the, so here we are asking what are the odds of picking one particular number. Doesn't it be 44? Any particular number. What are the odds of picking one particular number, a, a positive two-digit number from a set of positive, set of all positive two-digit integers? Well, there are 90 of them all together. And there are 90 of them all together. And if you want me to pick one particular one, the odds are 1 out of 90. That's all. So that's n part. This is or. So it, it jumps from 20%. It jumps from 1 out of 90 to, to 20 out of 100, obviously. Let's do part C. In part C, they're asking us what are the odds of picking a number, two digit number, which has no four, no four in either places. Well that's just very simple. We just found what are the odds of picking a four in unit place or the tens place. It was we just found, I shouldn't erase the other part. We just found that the answer to this question was answer to this question was nine plus 10, 9 plus 10, minus 1 over 90, which is 18 over 20. Therefore, the odds of not having a 4, therefore, the odds of not having a 4 in either a unit place or a tens place is simply, therefore, the probability of having no 4 
in either places in either place equals one minus one of one being the hundred percent minus one minus the odds of having four in unit place or tens place. And we just found out that the odds of having a four in a unit place or ten place is twenty percent, therefore this is going to be eighty percent. It's simply going to be one minus one fifth or four fifth or eighty percent. If there's a twenty percent chance that the number that you pick at random will have four in a unit place or tens place, then it stands to reason that there must also be an eighty percent chance that it will not have four in either places. That's all. That's all there is. Let's see what we have for tomorrow. Day number 195. We'll continue the concept of probability and we'll do problem number problem number 12. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. Bye now.